meet Rob Broughton, a 6 foot 2, 250 pound unit, who unsurprisingly is nicknamed the Bear and was a former UFC heavyweight veteran. But outside the octagon, Rob had another profession as he was an enforcer for one of the largest drug empires in the UK. Let's get into his story. Before we start, please drop a like on this video and hit the bell notification. Thanks. Rob Broughton, a 38 year old English born MMA fighter, originally trained at the Wolf Slayer MMA Academy in Liverpool and is a gym that has produced fighters like Quinton Rampage Jackson and James Tahuna. Rob would then sign with the UFC in 2010 and in a short free fight stint had defeated Venetius Quiros and also went on to drop two straight fights against Travis Brown and Phil the Freeze in 2011. Following multiple bout cancellations against Matt Mitrione due to personal issues on Rob's behalf, he was released from his UFC contract in 2012. He competed one more time in 2015 and retired with an overall record of 16 wins, 7 losses and 1 draw. But as we know, Rob didn't completely retire as he picked up a new form of work which involved working for the Tobin brothers who over the past four years had flooded the UK with class A and class B drugs such as cocaine, heroin, cannabis and ketamine by using quote a criminally sophisticated, highly profitable and well organised business. The drugs were supplied from Merseyside to gangs across England, Wales and Scotland. Among their customers were Anthony and Leon Cullen who headed a heavily armed drugs gang and Jamie Oldroyd who was another dealer responsible for the flow of drugs across the north of England. Rob and the Tobin brothers would communicate via EncroChat which is an encrypted communications network and service provider often used by organised crime members. Alan Tobin went under the username Cape Rocket while John Tobin went under Slight Drake and Rob under Nova Bear. Rob Broughton was used by the brothers to enforce unpaid debts and with close to £30 million in cash for the gang over the years, charging a 7.5% commission per job. However, while the group was supplying vast amounts of drugs across the UK, the police were slowly building a case on the Tobin brothers empire and would begin to make their mark in 2018. In the early evening of August the 2nd, 2018, the Tobin brothers instructed Jamie Simpson to transport 186 kilograms of pure cocaine worth £20 million from Kent to Warrington in England. The load was transported in a navy blue van and was placed under floorboards and in a custom made secret hide area. While the van was on its way down the M6, while being escorted by a Nissan Qashqai, police intercepted the convoy and arrested the whole crew. In doing so, police had just made the largest ever seizure of cocaine on land in the UK. This was a major blow for the Tobin brothers, who not only lost millions of pounds, but also had built a massive debt and now owed various people within the criminal underworld. One of these individuals was known only as the banker, who is believed to be a woman who is acting as an accountant in the criminal drug trade, and who the brothers owed a significant sum to. In fact, the brothers were put under so much pressure to repay their associates that they were actually forced to sell some of their personal belongings 
such as jewellery, but this clearly wasn't enough because on February the 6th, 2020, an attempt was made on John Tobin's life after he was shot in a leg near his family home in Prescott. It's believed that this shooting was part of a series of threats and intimidation by individuals higher up in the drug trade. The police were still paying close attention to the Tobin brothers and managed to catch up with them on September the 9th, 2020, when officers arrested the Tobin brothers for multiple drug conspiracies alongside Rob Broughton for his involvement in the gang. Rob Broughton was sentenced to eight and a half years in prison. The judge added that he had a medical condition and other difficulties, stating it remains a possibility that Rob Broughton was to some extent taken advantage of by the Tobin brothers. On the other hand, the Tobin brothers received a harsher sentence, who both admitted to conspiring to supply Class A and Class B drugs. Both also had a handful of previous convictions. Subsequently, Alan Tobin was jailed for 20 years and John Tobin for 19 years and eight months. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification button. Cheers.